I don't know, she will just type down. Oh my god. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another day, Atsi. And today uh, we're going to talk about the heavy weather because uh, we are not doing so well. Uh, this is a big vessel, it has not affected us that much, but we have encountered rough weather, a typhoon just in front of us from Philippines passing from uh, east to west and we are just going ahead of it so um, I'm going to show you how the waves look like how everything looks like what all we do to you know prepare and what all things are required to secure it before I go ahead guys I want to tell you that we have a program uh, specially installed on our ship uh, which tells us the weather continuously then we have a heavy weather checklist which we follow accordingly 36 hours prior so each department tech department galley department engine department gets it and then we secure it uh, accordingly okay guys let's go and uh, first I can show you how the chairs are secured so this is like inside the accommodation and even this and you see the things which are not secured have moved so uh, that's why uh, securing everything is really important uh, it's all about the preparation guys everything so guys i have secured everything i could here and uh, let's go further down uh, first we'll go to the bridge and i'll show you how the scenario looks exactly well we are outside and you can see how windy it has become and uh, you can see the white patches so I'll show you around the accommodation, how it is secured and uh, we'll go on deck what all things are there and you'll see a lot of stuff. So uh, first you can see everything is tied and secured. You see the table tennis, everything uh, arranged. So I can show you guys that do not use anything in rough weather dangerous for you. So. That's what guys, uh, I don't go to the gym when it's rolling and pitching and you can see the boxing, uh, the, uh, boxing the punching bag uh, actually moving by itself. That's the best example I can give you. So guys, I'm going to go out now and show you. The wind speed actually right now is around 30 to 35 knots, not that much. But we are expecting 50, 60 knots. The typhoon is just uh, east of us. So uh, yeah, it was a good opportunity to show you how it looks like. So let's go. You can see guys, everything is extra lash. All the things. And even uh, you can see the things moving around. Okay, guys, so what you are seeing behind me is waves of height 6 to 7 meters. But since we have a freeboard of 12, 12 or 15 meters, so you cannot see actually how high it is. You can see the force so, so big, so massive, guys. That's how choppy weather looks like. So guys, I'm actually on the non-windward side, so windward side is that side, so I don't want to go there, it's a bit dangerous, but uh, I'll have a look. In, in any case guys, uh, we have to tighten all the lashings, since uh, the containers are, uh, you know, slowly, slowly moving, so uh, we need to tighten them up really good. Oh God. Whoa. Did you see that guys? That was more than 8 to 9 meters easily. There are a few birds which are trying to fly. I don't know if you can see them. My God, guys, the force of nature is incredible. We being on big ships and the actually the swell and the waves are from the bow, so we are not affected by the rolling, but more of pitching. But uh, if the swell changes to our port quarters or you know the quarters or the uh, sideways, so then we get the rolling. That's that's horrible.
Guys, I'm going to be telling you something interesting. Actually, we can find the direction of the wind by just checking these uh, white things. You can see these white things. These are known as white horses. So, when they break, the when the water breaks, that means the wind is pushing them from the forward. Now, as you can see, the waves are coming from the forward. So, uh, right now we are heading to China. So we are northbound. So we know the the winds are coming from the north. So the typhoon is circling around over there. and then sucking in all the air from the forwards so in the other hemisphere the cyclone is uh, going anti clockwise so all the wind is coming from the north oh <laughs> i just saw this uh, bird dive down like hell and then it came up. wow wow guys look at that wow guys i have never seen such a uh, such a thing That, I don't know what that bird is, but she's doing some crazy maneuvers. I don't know. She'll just dive down. Oh my God! Looking so so pretty, guys. That's such a nice moment. It's awesome sight. Wow. this was incredible guys i have never seen such a thing and you guys know that i love nature so much this was awesome guys i am i'm i'm really happy somehow that was such a pretty sight i think it was one of the rarest things i have seen ever in my entire life in my entire life yes so guys as you can see they have uh, secured the anchor chains yeah benedicto what all uh, we secure now yeah all what all we have secured yeah everything is yes, our uh, ropes uh, ropes rope tail for tags yeah. the rat guard and That's secure the rope line these are the lashings which are moving because of the forces and the containers are actually moving left and right you guys we are now on the off part and you can see the propeller making its way we stop at the red nothing guys we know the severity of this we are still really far away like uh, 250 nautical miles from the storm But still, this is such incredible force. If I was on a small ship, definitely I would not be able to stand here or do anything like this. So uh, let's see if I go on a small ship later, and then uh, we encounter this. You can see the white horses I was talking about, and you don't want to be somewhere there in a small boat, guys. Believe me.
फिशिंग बोर्ड और स्मॉल वेसल दिस इज अनबिलीवेबल गाइज यू के नॉट प्रोसीड लाइक दिस यू नीड टू स्टॉप एंड टेक शेल्टर बट वी आर बिग शिप्स गाइज नाउ दे शिप्स आर गेटिंग बिगर सो डेट अफेक्टेड दैट मच बट डेफिनेटली इफ यू आर इन द आई ऑफ दिस टॉम दैस इट दिस रिसेंटली शिप सैंक दैट वॉज अ कैटल कैरियर इन जपान सो थिंग लाइक दिस स्टिल है So guys, in any case, if you found this video informative and got some good insight, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Do share the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you back for another day at sea. Thank you.